Hi, I'm Katina with Village Wine and Spirits and I'm here today in downtown Effingham at the Exchange Building and we're filming our holiday gin fizz up in one of the Airbnbs. Um, the gin fizz is a variation on a sour and it is portrayed as one of the first hangover drinks um, and it dates back to the late 1800s. Um, so today we're going to use some sparkling um, which would make it a diamond fizz and we're also going to use an egg white which will make it a silver fizz so it's just a combination of a couple different fizz recipes. Um, the egg white is actually going to give it um, some silkiness and some body to the drink itself. So we're going to start with an egg white and we're going to go ahead and do what's called a dry shake on this. Um, so we're just going to use just the white itself of the egg and that's going to give you about an ounce or so. Uh, next thing I'm going to add um, some lime juice. Um, the lime juice is actually going to help uh, break up the proteins of the egg white and basically what we're going to be doing is making a meringue. Uh, next thing we're going to add is our gin. I'm going to split my gin. I'm going to do an ounce of bowling and birch which is a gin produced by the Beam family. And next I'm going to do an ounce of the Koval gin which is produced up in Chicago and this is a cranberry gin liqueur so it's a little bit lower in alcohol content. We're going to add our sparkling later so hold on for that. I'm going to add a little bit of orange blossom water and last but not least I'm going to add about a half ounce of simple syrup. Mine is a rosemary syrup. And again, that sugar is going to help create that meringue. Um, one thing to note is once you start shaking this, it is um, going to kind of build up in foam like a meringue does. A little helpful tip is you can wrap a towel around it to help keep your grip on it and to keep that cap from rising off. And you're going to want to shake this really well to get those proteins to break down and mix up. And if you're thinking this is kind of like a Tom Collins, it actually is very close to a Tom Collins and it is also very close to a French 75, which I think I've uh, demonstrated in one of my very first videos. All right, we got a good shake on that. We're gonna open that up and you can see it's already starting to froth up really nice. So we're just gonna put a few cubes of ice in it and we're gonna go back to a really nice shake again. And you can see that's really wanting to come off now. We're gonna just build this in a Collins glass. The more you shake it, the more um, you'll get that frothiness in. All right. Let's see what we've got here. And we're going to go ahead and double strain this. <clears throat> and you can see how that foam is already kind of holding up there in my strainer. And we're going to get out any um, rosemary leaves that we have in there. Set my strainer off to the side. And then we're just going to add our sparkling on top of that. And there you have our holiday gin fizz. Enjoy. I'm sitting here with Michael Brimmer 
uh, the owner and manager of the exchange, which is in downtown Effingham. Would you like to tell us a little bit about what the exchange is? I know it's something uh, fairly new to Effingham. Yeah. So. Yeah. Thanks, Katina. Um, yeah, so we've been open for 18 months. Um, co-working space is downstairs, and what co-working is is it's a community workspace for people who don't have a traditional office space to go into. Um, and so it's like anybody who's working remote at home, whether that's every day or a couple days a week, um, and they desire to be to get out of their house, to get away from the annoying buzzy buzzing laundry machine, to get out of their basement. Uh, to get in and be around other people and, and building relationships with people while also working and, and doing the professional grind, if you will. It's a membership basis, um, so you can also get day passes, but we do, most of our stuff is membership based. So it's five days a month, 10 days a month, or your unlimited full-time office space. And we have kind of a variety of, uh, we have around 40 members using the different packages. All across the board, we also offer conference rooms, we offer printing, we offer high-speed Wi-Fi, we offer coffee. Um, so Any, it's kind of an- Anything and everything yes, you need. Yes, that you right? would need to have a productive work day. That's the whole idea. And then also to be around other people because I'm a big believer that we're meant to work in community with other people um, and to be in relationship with people. And so that's kind of the whole idea of bringing people into certainly a beautiful space, but it's, it's the connections that happen between the people that really make it uh, special and what it is. And, um, and then upstairs, we, we're sitting in an Airbnb. Um, so we furnish these uh, loft style, um, city warehouse style apartments. And uh, this was the original inspiration for doing the project. Uh, I had lived in warehouse style apartments in St. Louis. Um, I thought it was something that Effingham was ready for. And so we have four of them upstairs and I operate three of them as Airbnb overnight stays. Um, anybody can book for uh, one night to two weeks to a month. I mean, so. And I know we've got a lot of your clients that come over to the wine shop across the street and yeah. we get really great feedback from what you're doing. Here. Yeah. Yeah. And also it's awesome that we can, that they can stay here and they can walk across the street and yep. come to you guys <laughs> for great cocktails and wine. and. Um, so it's like fun to yeah see them going to different restaurants and and bars and stuff in downtown and uh, we have a really happening downtown so and so what made you uh, do this here in Effingham? <clears throat> yeah, um, great question. Uh, so I guess the the whole idea is how do we? I love Effingham. How do we get other people to experience Effingham as we know and love it and. Um, and how can we continue to improve and offer pe reasons for our young people who we see moving to Chicago, moving to St. Louis, moving to Indianapolis, how do we get them drawn back in here and coming back to the and area? And I know these apartments are awesome. My cat Ollie would love the high ceilings, yeah. the industrial space. Um, yeah, they are very indicative of living in a bigger city. Yeah, thanks. So, yeah, yeah. Great job. Thank you. Yeah, it's a cool building, so I'm, I'm grateful to get to yeah, share it. Well, we're happy that you're here doing what you're doing, bringing people out here. Thank you. Cheers. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> we should have brought Ollie today. He'd love it in here. <laughs> he might.